Hi guys, Kenny here again. Uh, remember earlier in the month, I actually posted a video where I went to with the property manager to actually look and inspect a unit, right? So I've got good news for you today. Uh, the unit is finally ready and the property manager has been kind enough to actually allow me to follow for the final handover. So I'm going to take you to the uh, unit and it's before and after. Uh, a little bit about background, the owner has not had any major renovation eh, of the unit for the past about I think 10 years. So they, it has a lot of uh, wear and tear after the, after the inspection and some of it are major ones. Eh. So I'm going to, so let's see what the what the unit looks like after the restoration works all right see you okay guys i am here at the unit wow look at that okay this is beautiful hey, hey. hi william william from property buddy hey nice to meet you what's up <laughs> hi so it's gonna take us around uh william yeah. you're gonna explain to us what you did right yeah this unit previously we did the inspection guide video also did the one central so in the living room we didn't change much things up to yeah. actually uh, control the budget as well i we see you replace what is really needed like the sofa and the coffee table but then we do a slight changes in terms of reorientating the dining table so that mm. we place more space more working space and we change the the hanging light the whole tire hanging light to this modern looking design like hanging mm. light so in the kitchen previously the the kitchen cabinet bottom has some uh, leak marks la, it's a factor so we have to change the this portion of the kitchen cabinet we didn't change the whole l shape just to save cost because it's everything good for the other part so this itself costs about three thousand it's like 30 40 percent of the budget mm. so take care of your kitchen cabinet properly because it's very costly to replace the reason that yeah. the kitchen cabinet had to replace because of leaking right you were mentioning how yeah, leaking how there's dangerous some there. so yeah <laughs> we'll do a video on that to compare the previous and the after <laughs> yeah then during heavy rain actually we find out that there's a there's a leak out uh, the patch of water coming in from this side we didn't notice in the first time inspection so next time when you inspect your house you have to pay attention to small details especially during uh, heavy rain so we have really do some waterproofing but we can't test really test whether it works or not until uh, the next heavy rain day mm. all right all right wow this is so the master bedroom the master bedroom we didn't change the design but we replaced the mattress mm -hmm. so the mattress comes with all the new pillows which is good for the next tenant uh. Yeah, initially, if you notice that the starting of our previous video, there's water mark here and the skirting is giving way, it's peeling mm. off. Mm. So instead of redoing the whole flooring, we just re uh, replace the affected areas. Mm. So we changed the previous not so looking wood pattern tiles to a more simple, plain, natural, uh, much neutral design tiles. Okay. And then the major works comes in to the bathtub area okay guys this one used this place used to have a bathtub and uh, look what property buddy did with it yeah <laughs> okay. it started off with like a 5 cm or 6 cm crack on the bathtub hmm. and then we, we actually we leave the entire bathtub out to check that the bathtub the bottom area is peeling off so it's just a matter of time before the bathtub give way leak and then it will affect the unit below so instead of that, for longer, longer uh, maintenance free, we remove the whole thing, cut out the wall tiles and the floor tiles, and we lay back the new tiles doing waterproofing. From action, there's only one light, so we want to brighten the bathroom it up so, so that it looks new and cleaner. Oh, uh, actually, we didn't repaint much the bathroom, we just actually brightened it up. So, oh, so it's one of, the, one of the guys, one of the tips lah. Like, make <laughs> like, your unit looks cleaner is to brighten it up. You Stay don't have to spend so much, right? Yes, you don't need <laughs> to spend so much on painting the whole unit. Then for second bathroom, there's a slightly second issue. bedroom. You mean million? <laughs> Sorry, <it's a> second <laughs> bedroom. Second bedroom is the floor skirting lah. Previously, this wall is is affected by the leaks. So the skirting is peeling off. So we have to re 
replace the whole skirting. So this skirting is entirely new, slightly different design from the older original design. So replacing the plastering or also this room gets a new mattress, a new set of curtain. Mm. Yeah. Then the rest are original as per previous after handover of the previous tenant. Mm. And this room we didn't touch much, just replastering back all the floors the thing and add a new set of curtains. The rest are remain the same. Okay, yeah. so William, uh, why didn't you actually replace this curtain like the previous second? This one, uh, you see this design have a line compared to that one, don't like that one has a newer design. This is our older design, we try to get the, the same design but we couldn't like. This one, they only have the, the issue of the hollow floor skirting. If you compare back uh, on our previous video, you'll see all the skirting uh, is actually detaching off from the wall. So we actually don't need to replace the whole thing. Skirting also costs a few hundred ringgit. Mm. Mm. So you don't need to redo that one. You just replastering. It probably costs 100 or 200 per room, the max. Okay. Uh, if you include floor skirting, can be 300 to 400. Just a single room to do all the floor skirting. So it's not necessary la, to mm. keep. Because your, your tenant right won't see, oh, floor skirting not good. I want to deduct your rental 100 ringgit. Uh, it's not one of the most important things, right? it's not significant to the tenant value. So. And then we didn't de ma do much on the second or bar, but we added the light. So one more, one more that, that one is the extra one, right? Yeah, this one I cut here, original. So brightens up, it looks cleaner, brighter. And then a slight bonus la, for the owner because we find that this switch doesn't operate properly. You can't turn on completely, but we replace this one. Mm. Then I find that the power supply is not there. The water coming out from the water heater is still cold. Then we check, we further probe, there's no water su mo mo uh, power supply to this switch. That's why the, mo the water heater is cold. Okay. Then we find out that we might need to redo the whole thing to get the power supply to here. Then only find out that actually the water heater is also got issue. Mm. The water heater, the, the, there's some wiring and fuse issue. I see. Uh, that one, we told the owner, we shared the cost already, but it cost probably around six to seven hundred just to fix these two things. Mm. So our guys opened up the water heater and check what's the problem with the water heater and managed to find the issue. Okay. So now the water heater is working. Okay, thank this you. is a bonus to the owner. The owner also don't know. Yes. <laughs> and it saved the owner almost 700 ringgit. Yeah. Yeah. Just an extra, extra checking, huh? Yes, right, extra I, checking. I think I need to give the owner the video too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the rest are safe. Yeah, the area we didn't touch any uh. anything. Because yeah, the first impression when it comes in is the living room and also the dining area. That's why you see we actually redesigned a little bit of the dining area. Redesign, yeah. Actually, the space you can see that there's actually yeah. the dining area is actually very spacious yeah. compared to the previous one. Is a then this has more space. I hope the tenant actually likes it. Yeah. I heard the 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 owner has a tenant, right, William? Yes, the owner has a tenant already before we even complete the unit, and the unit is rented out in 2006. <laughs> and yeah. how long do you take to complete this? I took about two weeks time. <laughs> Because we started work mid of September, now it's like 28, 29th of September. So yeah, the handover should happen today for the tenancy to start on 1st of October. Oh. So it's a little bit rush for all the flooring, tiling works. Because when you do flooring work, you need to wait for the, the cement to dry up. Yeah, it takes a couple of days and then kitchen cabinet take two weeks. So nam nam, <laughs> we get the work done in time. I think that's the... what we promise uh, to all the owners. <laughs> ah, I see. So. There you guys you have it, property buddy, property management. So in the future, you have anything that you want to ask, William always welcomes questions. Yeah, okay. definitely. You uh, can PM us on our Facebook page or Instagram, uh, or just give us a call or WhatsApp text. We'll do. Sure. Thank you so much for the yeah. tour, William. Thank you so and much. Thank you so much for letting me follow you to work today. No problem. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you come along. <laughs>